Girl, how many times you gonna come back? Welcome, 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 welcome into the channel, sweet angel in the building. Absolutely I am. How are y'all? Babes, what is up? It is the middle of the week. It is hump day. And baby, we've been humping the please around here. We've been trying to make it do what it do. Been a little bit under the weather, but you know, I ain't no setbacks. It ain't no setbacks over here because that gave me time to think. And I started thinking about uh, why am I watching some of these YouTube videos, right? Oh my gosh, y'all. Listen, if you're new to the channel, please, please come through. Please come on in and join the family because we want you over here for sure because you're going to get a taste of everything. Everything, sweet angel, everything, everything, everything. I'm telling you. But y'all, I spent a couple of days kind of like chillaxing, trying to take care of this little head cold or whatever's going on. And I have seen and ran across so many videos on people's life updates, what they plan on doing, what they ain't doing no more. And, you know, they disappear and they come back. And I'd be like, girl, how many times you gonna come back? I have a few channels that I watch and I swear them people done had reinventions, transformations and comebacks like 20 times in the last year and a half. I'm like, what is it? I think, now this is just my opinion. And I'd be like, really? Again with this, that's what my thought process is. And I'm really thinking it's just such a time in America, the world. Social media is so profound and so many people, because they don't have their own direction, they get so caught up and so absorbed in what everybody else is doing, trying to be everybody else. And the, uh, honestly speaking, the only competition you have is your damn self. You don't have to compete with this chick, that chick, that guy, this guy, nobody. Okay, you don't have to even be in the midst of all of that like that. You don't. But for whatever the reason is, social media has everybody trying to get on the same bandwagon as everybody else. People with their own ideas have created avenues for themselves that work. It works for them. That does not mean it's going to work for you. So get off of their bandwagon. Get off of their tail. Stop riding their coattail. It's not yours. Be original, be you, do you. There is no other way that you can capture success Remain successful unless you're originally you because eventually you're going to run ideas and they're going to be trying to copy somebody else because oops, that's not working because I don't have the insight as to how this person went from point A to point B. You've got to remain original all the time. No if, ands, or buts about it. Definitely don't be copying people. Nobody wants a copycat. Copycats have not been given crowns, no time in life at all. And then those that hype on, you know, I did this, that, and the other. And I'm not gonna do that anymore. I'm not gonna do that anymore. You know, the biggest thing has always been never say never. Never say never, because you never know what you're gonna do. But you know, for those individuals that keep publishing this stuff about what they're not going to do, and two days ago, you looked at the video and you'd be like, I just watched her channel. Didn't we just do that yesterday? Girl, I'd be like, what is going on? How many times are you going to publicly lie to people? Stop the madness. Stop it now. I beg you. I'm out of it. I'm out of it. And then, you know, I know people's lives go through heartaches, headaches, life be life and hell, mine is life and right now. I don't complain about it. You know, I've talked about it and I know there are some things that I personally, I know what I need to do if I want to get to the next level. I know what I need to do, but you got to be ready, willing and able 
to venture into those things where you can stick and stay with it, okay? And sometimes people pull back altogether. And I understand that sometimes there's so many pressures in life that you cannot juggle everything, okay? That is why, you know, we have villages. That is why we have people we can talk to. That is why we have people we can go to professionally and talk to. But when you disappear and say, I'm done, I'm through, I'm finished, and you really don't mean it, and then you come back and say, well, I'm back, I'm back, you know, I went through such and such, okay. And I know y'all be mad if folks be like, oh, you back already? You know, what did you go do? Because you're coming back with the same thing. You're coming back with the same thing. Just stick in there. You can take a little break. And we all need a hiatus every now and then. I'm learning myself. You know, the one thing I've always been is big on my grind, baby. I'm going to work. I'm going to do what I do. You know, I may pause for a little while, but I'm going to do what I do. But I know that at the age that I am at now, I am not going full speed ahead every freaking day. Yeah, not that, I'm not going that fast. Not going to do it, can't do it. Mine ain't able to do it like I used to do that back in the day. Right now, I've learned this one thing. I'm learning how to slow it down. I'm learning how to slow it down. Yeah, there was a time when I was posting every freaking day. It was because that was my mission. That's what I did. I put blood, sweat, and tears into every single day of content creation consistently. When it all went down the drain, maybe I had to learn. Like, you know, not that my work was in vain because I know that many of you all are still here because of my commitment to what I do. And the commitment is still there, but... I'm not going to be staying up way past bedtime. I'm not going to be, you know, just just not enjoying life and rolling back and savoring the moments because I'm trying to push out so much content. I'm going to take my time. I am going to give you what I'm doing, what's up, the real, real, every single chance I get. But doing it the way I was doing it, it does get get you to a point of burnt out, you know, where you no longer are uh, giving the quality that you should be. You're just giving quantity. So now that I know that's done away with, I take my time. I'm pulling back. I'm enjoying and savoring life, my life, enjoying my time with my husband, my granddaughter, spending time chatting with my, my daughters and savoring every freaking moment. That is what I'm about now. You know, that is what I'm about. So if we get off the bandwagon of trying to go so hard and you can't keep that up, that's a problem. Cause eventually everybody's gonna say, okay, seriously, how many times is this now that you da 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 and you said this, that, the other and you're back at the same thing. You've got to get real. Or yes, people will say, oh, here we go again. Here we go again. You don't want that. And yes, beautiful babes, I know people go through things. I have my own valleys that I go through myself. But when it comes to pacing ourselves, that's so utterly important. When it comes to staying in your lane, working your lane, rolling that lane like only you can do it, then you'll find that it is so much more fulfilling than trying to duplicate, copy, imitate someone else. We can't do that and survive and be mentally cleansed and clear about what our goals are. Focus on you. Know what your desires are. Find your path. What is going to be fulfilling for you? You know, sometimes when it comes to careers, what is fulfilling for us may not always net the most money for us, okay? There are some people that it's all about the money. It's all about the money. It's all about the money. But if it's all about the money and you have no other skill set behind it, you know, if that goes away, there's going to be a problem. There's going to be a problem. You have to know how to realign, redirect, and refocus in case something happens. So all I can say to you, 
Your comeback is every day. Every day that you show up for yourself, your comeback is every day. You don't have to advertise it. You don't have to promote it. You don't have to tell anybody. But if you choose to know that eventually, credibility is lost. Okay, credibility is lost. You know, I do my personal life. I do. I'll start something and sometimes not always complete it, but I get back to it. And I'll say I'm back to it. Yeah, I do. We all do. But I want to make sure that it is something that you're doing for you and not because you're trying to compete with someone. You're trying to get some coins for it because at the end, you're going to find yourself completely burnt out. And listen, that's my take on it. That's all I got to say. I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank you for coming in and hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you got something out of it. And if you did, please. Don't forget to like the video, share a comment on your thoughts on this, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and please let us know more and let me know what topics and let me know what topics you would like to hear about in the comments. I'm Sweet Angel. I'm signing off for now. Thank you so much again for hanging out with me. I'll see you babes. Take care. Yeah.